Alright, right now we're about to start Wandering Island hard mode. Now, you will hear us complain that this is probably the most tedious dungeon. And you're about to see why. Because no matter how good your DPS is, it will always take 30 plus minutes. Oh man, I hate this place. Alright, to start off, you have to literally go up this long stretch of hill right here. Very long hill. And talk to this NPC right here. And he'll begin the challenge. Now, before the challenge start, and even during the challenge, you can see these little ghost grass along the area. They give you these things called soul. It gives you a random amount of soul. Anywhere from, I've seen, 3 to 10. Like right now, I just got 3. And of course, it sometimes spawns these ads. Now, if you're low level, you probably can't take them out very fast, but if you do take them out, they give you a lot of souls, like 20 of them. Oh look, another one. Now, when you see these cavalry pop up, it means that the wave is about to start. So, after I kill this guy, I'm going to head back up to the front. Now then, usually the group will be divided into two. One person usually has to keep watch at the rear end right here because mobs sometimes will come from this area and come into the middle. Now, the goal of this place is to guard this giant crystal right here and make sure it takes as little damage as it can and make sure it does not break. Now, what you see here is just us using these souls to get buffs. There's three types, attack, defense, and spell power. Now, me being a caster, I obviously got spell power. Z right here, got attack. Now, the there, the attacks will come in waves of a um, lot of mobs. There's 15 wave total and 3 bosses. The bosses will spawn after every 5th wave. And the waves usually go really fast if you have high DPS. Mainly because, like you've seen, we can buff up our DPS. Look at that. My magic attack jumped straight up. And also, there'll be these little orbs. They'll tend to give you buffs like the one I got, increased magic attack by 50%. Look at that. It lasts 30 seconds. Holy crap. That's a lot. And of course, you can increase your spell power or attack power by a certain amount of percent per. And it costs you about 30 souls to upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade again. Now there will be these little messages that will pop up on your screen like uh, it tells you which buff you got and also person who's on the rear this time being me I have to watch for a message that says mobs are attacking from the back I'll show it to you when uh, it actually does happen and Z can you tell Mel to not like go all the way in the front if, if mobs attack from the back I'm not going to get credit again Yeah, because remember last time you guys killed the boss way too far out and I didn't get credit because I was guarding the rear? So yeah, be careful. When a person who's guarding the rear sometimes will have to run back to the rear to kill the mobs. And of course sometimes you'll have very enthusiastic people who are overextend, like go all the way out here, knock out the boss while you're all the way at the back guarding the gate. That'll make you ha get no credit for the kills, which can't screw the group over. Because like I said, this is a very long run. And after finishing each wave, you have no choice but to wait. Now, you guys may be wondering, what the hell are these little tornadoes? Well, they're just traps of sorts. They, t they do almost no damage if you just run through them like Look at that, I take almost no that only 6k damage, but if you stand in them, they stack up a lot of damage. Look at that, I have so much HP, it's just dropping like a rock, even with my heals. Now this is still the easy part, since the tornadoes only pass through you. Later you will see that it gets a lot harder when fire bombs start falling out of the sky. And that's usually around wave 10. Oh! I missed it. 
but like right now, you see mobs are attacking from the rear, and of course I usually have to come all the way back to this area to kill it, which will mean I get no credit for anything that happens up there in the front. Unless of course your group member stands right now where Mill is standing, it's a really good spot to stand because it put, it blockades the village from being entered and also allows the people who's guarding the rear gate to get credit for everything that's happening in the front. But and you just have to move up to kill these range models who don't like to move up. Now, yeah, lots of waiting. Lots of waiting. And on board. It's only been five minutes. I wish the GM installed a freaking skip button on this thing so we can actually skip the wits to the next wave instead of waiting forever. It's set so every wave is about one minute and a little bit. So no matter how fast you kill, you still have to wait that one minute and a little bit before the next wave starts. No, I think it's two minutes and a little bit, my bad. <laughs> really? You got the 100 Glacko lottery? Alright, now we are on Elite Wave. I guess this is just a bonus wave. No, this is this should be wave four, I believe, right now. Based on the time, I wasn't paying attention to what which wave it was. Yeah, it should be wave four right now. So after the next wave that appears, wave five, it will be the boss wave. And now, back to waiting. Lots of waiting. Oh uh, yeah, I actually fell asleep here once. Died to a fire. Now, as I'll just explain these words while we're waiting. These right here give physical attack boost. Just walk over them. The shield one, obviously, gives defense. This one gives magic defense, I think. Yep, the shield gives armor. The red gives attack power. The soul-looking human thing gives magical power. Wait, where's the other buff? I should have one more. Hmm. Probably didn't get it. Alright, this is the fifth wave right now. Finally, we're on the fifth wave. Now then, we're gonna begin our first boss fight in about two minutes shield warp so far now as for these buffs that uh, you can get from using souls oh boss fight anyway as for these uh, buffs that you get from using souls they can stack up to uh, five so currently magic is at three so I'll buy two more and now bump me up to 5, which gives me a 125% magic spell power damage increase. So let's see. See how it bumped up my spell power damage to 5,000. I am now caster class DPS. Somewhat. Now usually at this first boss wave, mobs will appear from the back. I have not yet seen one where it doesn't so I'm just gonna keep on lookout right now for that message oh 
Well, I'm surprised it did it. I think this might be the first time. Maybe because Lone Soul's back there. Bugged it. But anyway, the bosses here are pretty easy. They do like no damage. Not really much of anything. The only thing actually that's dangerous about this place is the traps. Pretty much it. That and falling asleep from the long way in between waves. I think that's the only hard part of uh, Wandering Island. Everything else is easy since you can boost your magic attack, physical attack, and now... Oh! There it is! The message! They are attacking us from behind. Guard your rears, guys. They are coming for it. Now they will go up the hill, and if you don't want this cavalry guy to interfere, just walk out the gate and attack them right here. Cavalry won't help unless they step into the gate like that guy who just barely passed in, and now the cavalry is here. Now this guy has a shit ton of HP, but he does not reset. So I, I don't know I actually know what happens if he actually dies, and I don't really want to find out. That looks ugly. Alright, this should be wave um, 6, I believe. So another 4 more waves to go before the boss fight. And we've already been in here for 12 minutes. Oh man. Now, if I were you, I would just kind of fast forward the video to the next part. Because we just pretty much covered the entire Wandering Island right here. Just so you can see what the next boss is like. Might as well fast forward it to, I say, about 20 minutes into the video. Because right now we're just on wave 7. I can now heal what? The tornado? Oh yeah! I'm standing in the tornado. I got this man. I got this. Yeah! I out heal the tornado. <laughs> I wonder if I can out heal the fire now. I want to test that. I, the, oh yes. We'll, sh we'll talk about the fire when it actually appears. You should see it soon. We're on wave 7. I think the fire appears on wave 8 or 9 or 10. Now, actually, no, it appears before 10, so probably 9 or 8, one of those two. Now, as for the ranking in here, it just goes pretty much, as long as the crystal is not dead, or probably not take any massive amount of damage and no one dies. You're pretty much guaranteed a triple S rank in here. And for you people trying to upgrade your horse, this is the only place to get the stone horse. The second tier upgrade. Very painful place to do it. Dang Z, you have some, you're taking way more damage than I can heal you now. The, the tornado I think is based off percent since I'm taking 6.7k damage so... I say each rotation probably does about 10% um, of your damage so... Yeah 10% so you're taking 7.6k damage. 
every second, and I heal you for uh, 12k every two se three seconds. So, yeah, you're taking more damage than I can heal you. I think the fire is probably about the same percent. I'll test it out. Now, this is wave 8, so I guess the fire appears on wave 9. So, next wave, after we clear this one, the fire will begin. Now the fire is kind of like the tornado. It appears everywhere on the map, but unlike the tornado, it is a lot more annoying. And it prevents you from being AFK too, because it will kill you. And like, unlike the tornado which moves around, the fire is on the it's like an AOE circle on the ground. <laughs> the fire loves you. Nice and toasty, right? <laughs> now, the fire usually is at the gate where, where people are standing, I've noticed. And there's still no fire. I guess it is wave 10. Huh. I thought it was before wave 10. Guess I was wrong. We should see it very soon after this wave. Oh! More moss on the rear. Come to daddy mobs. Now for some of you that are bored you might as well go grab some ghost grass. Though there's really no point in it after a while. Since we've already maxed out all three bonus stats. As you can see, we have magic attack at 5, physical attack at 5, and defense at 5. So now our defense increased by quite a bit. Let me see. My defense now jumped up to 43% from 28. That's quite a lot. Alright, wave 9 should be complete now, and we're about to begin wave 10. And here it comes! Fire of Dim- Oh shit, there it is! The very first fire, right there! You can see it there all over the map. You can't escape its fiery wrath of doom. And standing in the fire does quite a bit of damage. Wait, come up, come up here, fire! Show, showing these people damage. Oh, it doesn't burn through the gates. But they're everywhere! Alright. 6.7k damage, so the same as a tornado, except it takes a lot faster, and it's all oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's 10% damage, so it's a lot faster than the tornado in terms of damage-wise, and it's everywhere. So you have to constantly keep moving. Oh man, more balls on the rear. After this wave will be the boss wave. Now, kind of like before, the boss is a joke. We'll show it to you. Especially with our awesome DPS that's been buffed up a lot. Bosses aren't really much of a threat, neither are the mobs. So like before, like I said, the only dangerous part is the traps. The fire and the tornado. Just overcome these two and the whole rest of the dungeon is a breeze. Look at this pirate. Our mateys. Now the moths come from three directions. The very first boss comes from this side right here. The second boss will come from the direct opposite. This side right here. And the third boss will come from the middle. Right here. Now usually I find out that there's less fire over here in the middle area. Probably because the mobs conjugate over here. And there tends to be more fire back here at the base. Especially around the door area. There always seems to be fire at the door. But as said before, some people have to actually guard the rear so try not to overextend. Even if you feel that the middle is safe. Because the people, the person at the back usually won't, still won't get credit if you kill the boss too far out. But if you are soloing and you are by yourself, more power to you man, stand in the middle. 
Now the boss usually comes with ads, which are just as weak as they are. So just kill them fast, move on. Next wave. Now for those of you who want to take a restroom break in the middle of fighting, usually for some reason these firehouse areas, elevated areas, don't get caught on fire, so let me see if I can jump up onto them. Can you jump on them? Oh, I can't jump on them. But these areas are usually a safe place. I found that no fire usually comes over here. Usually. So for Bill's taking a quick break, this these this would be a good spot to stand right here. Just you got up? How? Oh, that's how. Anyway, this spot usually a good spot to stand. No fire reaches here. As you can see it goes everywhere, but they usually do not come onto house. Probably because houses don't burn. Well, I like to assume that the houses don't burn. Oh god, eight more minutes left of this place. Oh, there, oh shit, wave 11, wave 11 people! Look at that, even as a healer I am now doing massive damage. Very easy dungeon to solo if you are planning to farm for gear or anything else just very very long and very boring but for those who are just getting started this actually is probably the uh, fastest dungeon you'll do if you're soloing because it gives you massive boost and you'll probably alone barely clear away before the next one starts. Now since there's a group of us here, we're bored. Uh, the hard way stand in the middle. Oh yeah. Is, hey, is there a achievement for that? No buffs? No? No achievement? Well, yeah, if you want to take it a long way, I guess you could do that. No buffs. Well, that's really kind of... I don't know if you can finish it before 32 minutes. Because the boss doesn't spawn until 32 minutes. It's like the moment the boss spawned, you have to like one-shot it. Or is easy mode low faster? It's still 30 minutes. Lots of fire still. Lots of fire. <gasps> the, the house is burning! Or the way up the house is burning. But I'm very sure if you stand right there, it probably still takes no damage. Wave 13. Two more waves, and we're done. Hallelujah. We can finally get out of this hell hole.
my bed. I'm bored. And we're still on wave 13. Oh, wave 14 incoming. If any GMR is watching this, I demand a skip button right here. So we can skip to the next wave instead of waiting all this time right here. We could probably like finish this place in 10 minutes if we have a skip button. Just wait right here and bottleneck them and then kill them in one shot. But man, I can remember when I first done this, I was like, oh man, this place is so hard. They do so much damage. And now it's like, oh man, this place is so slow. It's taking forever to finish. It's Wanda the Panda. <gasps> Don't worry, Z, I got the rear. Wave 15 incoming. The last wave. Thank God. Now, on the boss wave, usually no more mobs will attack and once you finish the boss, the place is literally done. So when we get to the boss, we're going to show you where it spawns and we're just going to go attack it. been 29 minutes since we've been here. And all that fire damage. All that fire damage. It's the only thing that really kills you in here. That in the tornadoes. Nice and toasty. All right, the boss wave has started. Lady, and for those of you playing League of Legends, She's just like that pirate lady from League. Forgot her name though. Now, the pirate lady spawns in the middle, so being impatient and me being wanted to get out of here, I'm going to go rush to the boss and kill it. Who cares? I'm going to I'm going I'm going for it. I will get it. The boss will die. Yeah, go straight at the boss. And even the skill is the same as League of Legends. Cannon shots to the front. And dead boss. Very soon. Boss is dead. No drops. What? Who died? 
Oh, Lone Soul probably died at the entrance, huh? Well, this is it for Wandering Islands Hard Mode. And I just got the Magical Horse. <laughs>